How did it start? Uh. <laughs> well, my parents bought this farmhouse. Of course, my father was sick. And then all her friends came up to see her. And they said to mother, why don't you start a boarding house? So my mother says, I don't know anything about it. Just do what you're doing now. And that's the way it started. All her friends kept coming and their friends kept coming. So that's what she started. It was very simple. I mean, it was mostly all friends that put her in business. And they really took over when they came. I mean, they did things and they helped mother and everything went fine. It was like one big family. Mother was frying bacon. It was on a Sunday morning. All of a sudden she says, and I can't do it anymore. I looked at Gail and I looked at her father and I said, now what? So I had to step in and do it. And I was stuck with it. <laughs> there was people there for that weekend. And what was I going to do? But I stayed and helped my mother. And I got used to it too, so. So I stepped in with the help of Gail and her father. And it went along real good. The business was more like family than, than anything else. Oh, they never, there was never like an abundance of money to, to make repairs and stuff like that. It was just, you know, they were happy if they got enough to pay the taxes on the place for the year. It was fun <laughs> for a while. And then of course it got so that the younger crowd, they wanted the shore. And it was at a good time of the year. They used to travel a whole lot and all. So it worked down to hardly nothing. About five people used to come. Probably in the late 60s, early 70s, people started wanting air conditioning, pools, and there's a shared bathroom here. And that was taboo <laughs> after a while, so, I mean, there was no showers. They used to go down the lake and take their baths in the afternoon. You know, we couldn't handle those big crowds anymore without hiring people and without putting a lot of money into the place, which we didn't have to do it, so. No, we were, I think we were, we were finished. Once it started going downhill, we were going downhill too. Uh, all the teenagers, back when I was a teenager, we all used to go up into the attic. And it was like, kind of like rooms up there, it was finished off. Yeah, this is where all the teenagers spent their summers, our nights. <clears throat> it was all beds lined up. And then there was one of the guests that did a, did my grandmother's washing and ironing, and she stayed in that room down there, so she was supposed to be keeping an eye on, the, on us all. But she didn't do too good of a job. We had a lot of fun. But yeah, because we'd go swimming in the afternoon down at the lake where I live now. And we'd all, everybody would pile in the back of the truck, and down to the lake we'd go, swim until 3.30, 4 o'clock, come back up here, 
everybody take a quick snooze and like their dinner and <clears throat> rock on the porch and then once it got dark it'd be over to the rec hall for a car they play poker a lot into their wild party it was like all oh, you kids have to leave so we used to go up in the hill on the back and sit up there and watch them through the windows but they just get silly I mean you'll see the pictures of men used to dress up as women and they had a shotgun wedding they all got spiffed up and two of the older probably the oldest ones here made believe they got married and they went to they had the reception but we all had to go to bed because we couldn't see any of that we were all up on the hill watching. It's been a while since you've been up there. Oh yeah. We ride by it, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Quite a while ago. story on the side at 11 because we ate at 1230 and once I was old enough 1130 would all my father and I would disappear and would come over here have a couple of whiskey sours and would come back and my mother would get so mad at us because we couldn't even see straight. I'd be in the kitchen cooking. They took over the cooking and then they were in there with me and came to be a certain time every morning you'd see them get up and go into the recreation hall and the first thing I knew all my kitchen help went <laughs> over to the bungalow so I said now why my folks bought the farm it was in 1924 there was no electricity all dirt roads it was really something. 